find the following derivatives. For my first function, I have f of x equal to x times e to the minus x plus natural log of x. Now if you look at this, we have e, we have natural log of x. We would love to collapse that if we could, but there's that minus x in the way. So to simplify, I can break this up. A sum upstairs turns into a product when I put each by itself. So I have x, e to the minus x, e to the natural log x. This is great. This is going to collapse down to x. So my original function is just going to be x squared, e to the minus x. So by doing a little bit of prep work, I save myself from having to do a messy chain rule type of thing upstairs. We go for the derivative. So this will just be the product rule. Derivative of the first is 2x multiplied by the second, e to the minus x. And then I have the first, which is x squared. And now I want the derivative of e to the minus x. If I think of this as e to the u, with u equal to minus x, the rule for derivative of an exponential is just going to be rewrite your e to the u and then multiply by the derivative of u. So I rewrite this as e to the minus x and then I multiply by the derivative on the top. That's going to be minus 1. So I can factor out an e to the minus x out of everything and that leaves me with 2x minus x squared. And so that's my answer. Next function, let's look at g of x equal to natural log of 1 plus e to the x squared. So we've got to deal with a natural log and an exponential in this case. So first, we're going to hit the natural log. What's the rule for natural log say? It's going to say take whatever's on the inside, flip it over, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. So that's my first step. So the natural log is out of the picture now. Okay, I want to take the derivative at the top. Let's move the bottom off to the side for now. So the derivative at the top, well, the 1 goes away. I'm left with taking the derivative of e to the x squared. Okay, again, we use the rule. This is e to the u with u equal to x squared. And the rule is derivative is just going to be rewrite e to the u, multiply by derivative of u. So that's going to turn into rewrite e to the u, that's e to the x squared, and then derivative of u is just going to be 2x. So derivative of x squared is 2x. Collecting everything together, I get 2x e to the x squared, 1 plus e to the x squared. For our third function, all right, I want to pull out a little bit of second fundamental theorem of calculus, just because it's good to always relook at this guy. So I'm going to define my function as h of x equal to 0 to natural log of x square root of 1 plus e to the t dt. So let's recap what second fundamental theorem of calculus says. It says if I call big F of x equal to definite integral from 0 to x of f t dt, if I take the derivative of big F of x, it's just the same as saying Take your f and replace the t with an x. So this is a really useful theorem to have around. So notice what I want to take the derivative of is slightly off. Okay, We have this natural log stuck up in here. So we want to know how do we deal with that. Well, the idea is we don't deal with it right away. What I do instead is put what we would like to have. I want to have big F of x equal to 0 to x with an x up on top of radical 1 plus e to the t dt. Now if you notice, for h of x, all I want to do is, well, in this guy here, where I have an x, which is only in this spot, I'd rather have natural log of x. So we could think of this h of x as just the composition big F of natural log of x. That's just going to put natural log of x up here. Now I can get to work. This is just a chain rule. So h prime of x is equal to f prime evaluated natural log of x times the derivative of the inside. Derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. And now I can just start pulling things apart. 
we know from second fundamental theorem of calculus, F, big F prime is just going to be the inside. Wherever I have the T, I'm going to put an X. But here, really, what that means is wherever I have a T, I put the natural log of X. Okay, it's whatever's on the inside here. So that's going to give me radical 1 plus E to the natural log of X times the derivative of the inside. So that's just going to be a 1 over X. Now, notice we can collapse this inside piece here to X. So we're really just looking at radical 1 plus X over X.